starring Jim I'm John Walsh. Tonight, the story of a fugitive who roams America robbing banks. John Edward Stevens is a suspect in at least 22 bank jobs, though he has not stood trial for any of them. The FBI says Stevens has left innocent bystanders injured, and unless he's captured, someone may soon be killed. On Tuesday, February 10th, 1987, at 9.20 a.m., John Edward Stevens and an accomplice, Jack Chite, entered the manufacturer's Hanover Bank at 79th Street and 1st Avenue in Manhattan. According to the FBI, they were armed with 38 caliber revolvers loaded with deadly hollow point ammunition. They grabbed more than $17,000, then made their getaway. The job took less than five minutes. Stopped in traffic, Stevens saw a New York Police Department radio car pull up behind him. He panicked, triggering a high-speed chase. For more than 10 minutes, at speeds reaching 55 miles per hour, Stevens and Chite headed south, crisscrossing 1st and 2nd Avenues. A total of seven New York City police cars were in pursuit. Stevens' car raced through the wealthy residential Upper East Side, careening across sidewalks and sideswiping other cars. He lost control at 63rd Street and 2nd Avenue and smashed into a group of pedestrians. Stevens abandoned the stolen money and ran. Dodging traffic across busy 2nd Avenue, he disappeared into an underground parking garage and escaped. John Edward Stevens has eluded capture for over a year. He is known to have worked as a bookkeeper and as a taxi and limousine driver. He is also an expert at forging identities. Thank you, Mr. Russo. He may call himself John Russo, Jeffrey Stella, or perhaps Steve Anderson. Stevens has used these names and many others. He has been known to use at least six social security numbers. Stevens may rob all those banks to fuel a gambling compulsion. According to the FBI, Stevens travels frequently to casinos in Las Vegas, Reno, and Atlantic City. He is a habitual gambler who plays blackjack almost exclusively. He is described as an excellent player. Stevens usually starts at a $25 table, then parlays his winnings onto high-stakes games. But according to the FBI, John Edward Stevens is parlaying his bank robberies into a life and death game. The FBI is alarmed over a trend we see developing. In recent bank robberies, Stevens has come closer and closer to utilizing violence. He's become more and more abusive uh, to bank customers and bank employees. As often as he robs, we're sure it's just a matter of time until someone gets injured or killed. Take a look at the tattoo on Stevens' right arm. Two red hearts pierced by a blue arrow. Two names which once appeared on the center scroll have been tattooed over. If you've seen John Edward Stevens or know where he is, call us now at 1-800-CRIME-88. The call is free. Remember, your calls are taken in strict confidence.